anniversary limited edition leather jacket from SEV Scotty Vest. I gotta tell you, this is the best leather jacket I have ever had. This lambskin is so soft. I love the color, which is only going to get better as it ages because anybody who has a leather jacket knows that they look great new, but once you wear it, it takes on that patina, gets those wear spots and the wear lines. looks fantastic. And then it becomes uniquely yours because it's got that special look to it. So this is from Scotty Vest. Of course, if you know anything about Scotty Vest by now, you know they invented the iPad pocket and I've got my iPad right here inside my jacket. I'm also a Kindle guy. Uh, when I read long form, like you know, uh, novels or biographies or anything like that, I like to read on the Kindle. It's a little bit easier on the eyes, uh, a little bit easier to hold. And lo and behold, in the same pocket as I just had the iPad, I've got my Kindle. Now, normally, I probably wouldn't carry both of those or maybe even the iPad wherever I might go wearing this jacket. I just wanted to show you that they do fit. They do have the pocket right there for them. If you choose to do that, hey, that's up to you. Uh, I've got an expedition. I've also got a Fleece 5.0. So uh, if I'm going to be loading things up for a longer trip or something like that, I'll probably wear uh, like the expedition uh, for something like that. You'll also notice I'm wearing a tie. First point I really wanted to make about this jacket is I think it looks fantastic. I think you could wear this to work. I think you could wear this for an evening out uh, in place of a blazer. Although if you do want a blazer, a uh, sport coat, Scotty Best has one of those too. Um, so, uh, you know, I think it really, really looks fantastic, uh, like I said, just like this. I've got the Scotty Vest uh, Flex Cargos. They're a little bit more casual than uh, normal, but there's nothing wrong with wearing a nicer pair of slacks. I think you'd have a really, really, really great uh, look with this. Now, having said that, I do want to show you something else. I'm going to take off the jacket here real quick, uh, and then I'm also going to uh, lose the tie, uh, as we say. Then, I'm just going to grab this gray cashmere sweater here, throw this on real quick, put that back, and then we'll put the jacket back on with this. And I want to kind of give you an idea. It's a much more casual look, but you know, you could go to, you know, I don't know, an art gallery or maybe work in a business casual kind of an environment or something like that. This is a great look as well. I think it looks really contemporary, really fantastic. Um, uh, again, I really like this brown. It's real neutral in terms of the color. Uh, it'll go with a lot of different things. So I think this is a, a really great look um, a, as well. Now, of course, you know, what's anything better than uh, having a leather jacket than just kicking it uh, maybe, you know, in, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe just jeans and a t-shirt or something, I think, you know, is, is, is a great look too. Uh, because after all, just enjoying yourself, going out, having a few beers, meet your buddies at the game. Got the old leather jacket. It's just kind of—it's kind of like wearing an old pair of jeans. Uh, just fits real great, feels real nice, and you know that's that's what you've got. So, like I said, jeans and a T-shirt goes just great with this jacket as well. Looks fantastic, I think. So, enough of the fashion show. Let's take a look. It is a Scotty Vest jacket. If you're used to anything from Scotty Vest by now, you know it's basically the same layout uh, as, as uh, any of the, from one to the next. Uh, but having said that, one big difference you'll notice right away as you look uh, on the inside here, there's no clear touch fabric on these pockets like you have on the Expedition, the Fleece 5.0, Revolution, things like that. Um, Scott wanted to keep it a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer look because of, of uh, the, the design of this jacket. And I think he hit it uh, right on the head with that. Uh, while I've got the jacket kind of uh, looking this way though, I do want to show you there are no marks, no brands, uh, anything on the exterior of this jacket. I've got these great uh, accessory uh, buckles on the side here. The zippers are YKK, which is probably, I think, the most famous and the highest quality zipper, uh, I think, in the world. It's got these great big uh, pulls on them, so if you happen to be wearing gloves, you can operate the zipper really easily. It's a metal zipper all the way up, so it's not going to, the teeth aren't going to break uh, or, or get jammed on you or anything like that. Uh, the straight cut on the cuff, which I really, really like, as well as the bottom of the jacket. 
You know, there are some uh, lesser quality or cheaper leather jackets that, that have an elastic band or partial elastic band or an elastic cuff. Um, and although th they might serve a purpose keeping some wind out, I really think it detracts from the look of, of having a leather jacket. Leather jacket should be leather. And that's it. You have your metal accessories um, and, and that's it. You're done with it. So the first pocket I want to go to on the inside uh, as we take a look around here, of course, is, is you have the iPhone or the phone pocket uh, which opens up with a zipper that runs down right here. Uh, I've got my iPhone. You see I've got it connected with my headphones which run through the, uh, the personal area network. There's a little eyelet inside. goes inside the lining of the jacket. comes back out here at the collar runs uh, underneath the special tabs that can see all these wires and then back down where I've got my Apple headphones tucked into the bud buckets. Special pockets just for your headphones. If you're not going to wear them, you can tuck them in there. There's one on each side. There's also a pen pocket uh, on each side. I've got a pen just kind of stuck down in here. What I really like about these pen pockets is they're stitching right at the bottom of it. It's really hard to see here, but it prevents the pen from going too deep into the pocket and kind of limits how, how deep it goes. I don't want to clip anything if I had a metal pen or something like that. I wouldn't want to mark up and, and potentially put a hole in the leather here uh, after some time. So by just sticking this down in there, it just stops at the, at the end of the pocket. I can still reach in and grab it really easily uh, and, and use the pen like that. If we jump down below the uh, phone pocket here, uh, the ID pocket, which uh, usually also has clear touch on it. Again, since we don't have any clear touch, it's this same fabric as the rest of the lining. Uh, and there's an, a, a, a tag for it that, what do you know, says ID. Uh, all of the pockets have an icon on them for the suggested use for that pocket. Of course, that's a, a suggestion. You can put whatever you need to in there. Um, I don't usually carry ID in my ID pockets. Um, I like to carry business cards. It's the, you know just the right size and uh, they're real handy. I've always got a few in here. So I can just pull out a business card, uh, hand that to somebody, and I'm good to go. Now also, having said that, uh, if you don't have business cards, uh, then you can just use these great cards that Scotty Vest prints up uh, that have the website and a little bit of a story about the product, uh, a little bit of a, uh, a story from Scott and uh, what Scott calls a vestimonial, uh, some stories from customers that have uh, different Scotty Vest products and really, really like them. And if they say, where'd you get that fantastic jacket? Well, I got it from scottyvest.com. Here you go. Uh, and they can get their own. One of the other things that's really, really cool, uh, I want to jump while I was thinking about it here, is Every Scotty vest has a jacket anyway, has a leash with a key holder in it. Um, if you're like me, you put your keys down somewhere and you, you forget where you put them, and then when you need to leave, you can't. Um, I've kind of taught myself now that I've been wearing Scotty vests here for a little while to hook my keys onto this leash, keeps them nice and handy right inside the, uh, the pocket here, and I don't have to worry about where I put them because they're just they're stuck to me basically. Uh, back inside now, the pocket above the ID pocket is what's called the travel documents pocket. You can keep important things you need to get really quick, passport, plane ticket, and things like that. Uh, if you're going to take a trip, of course, you need your passport. Uh, uh, actually, you need your passport even to go from the U.S. to Canada now. Uh, of course, if you're flying, then you'll have uh, some kind of a, a long kind of a folder with your, uh, uh, at least your itinerary or something like that. Uh, with your uh, all your documents, your your uh, hopefully not your checked baggage because you're not checking baggage anymore if you have Scotty Vest. So you've got your ticket information though. Uh, and then if you're like me though, and uh, say for example I've got the Expedition now and I can get lost just trying to navigate the pockets on that. If you need a little bit of help with what goes in what pocket and things like that, every Scotty Vest piece of uh, apparel, pants, jackets, doesn't matter, comes with a pocket map. Uh, it's got an x-ray view of the garment inside, gives you uh, a layout of what the pockets are, what they're for, gives you an idea of the items that are supposed to go or, or designed to go in each of those. Uh, and again, those are suggestions you can put whatever you need to uh, in any of the pockets. So we've covered all of the main pockets that we usually have uh, on the, the left side as you're wearing the jacket here, it's on your right. But there's one more pocket that's on the inside of the phone pocket. It's actually quite small, uh, and, and it's designed for smaller things. I've actually got a, a fifth generation 
iPod Nano stuck in this particular pocket. I like to have a backup if my uh, uh, if I'm going to listen to a lot of music or podcasts or audiobook or something like that. I don't want to drain the battery on my iPhone. I just got an extra Nano here that I can uh, I can keep handy for those. Uh, for those particular times. Now, mirrored on the other side of the jacket, on the right side as you're wearing it, there are a matching set of these pockets over here. I happen to have a stunt device for uh, what would normally be my GPS. I'm into geocaching and I use a separate GPS uh, that's got a camera and some other things for that. And so that's going to fit right into um, to this pocket which is identical to the one here. And then there's also a separate inside pocket here where I keep what's called my honko. Um, here in Japan, uh, we don't sign things. Um, we stamp them with a special stamp that's registered with the town office or the city office. Uh, and you don't want to lose it and you need to keep it handy. So it fits really, really well in this little pocket right here. And I can just zip that up uh, and away I go and I can use it when I need it. Uh, I didn't put these on when I started, which I probably should have. I wouldn't have gotten as lost as I did. But every Scotty Vest jacket has an eyeglass pocket with an eyeglass chamois attached to a cord, an elastic cord inside there so you'll never lose it. I probably like the cord more than I do the pocket because uh, having the cloth on the end of it, I don't have to worry about where one is or where my eyeglass case is. I, I've just got it stuck right in there and I don't have to worry about it. The last pocket underneath that on the inside here is a camera pocket. Um, I'm actually using my camera to do this video, so I can't take the camera out. I wish I could. But I've got a, a stunt device, uh, my iPhone 3G in its uh, uh, Mo uh, NovaThink solar charger here. It's about the same size, I think, as a typical uh, point-and-shoot camera. Fits in there really, really nicely. Zip the pocket up. And if you take a look, you don't even know it's there. That's why I really, really like uh, the way these are laid out. Uh, to keep things concealed like that. So that's pretty much the layout of the pockets on the inside. I did also show you about the personal area network. You can keep your wires hidden. Uh, I think it's a great look. If, you, if, if you've got it laid out right and you've, you've got your, your headphones in the little, the little bud buckets there, you can't even see them. Uh, yet I've got them ready to go and I can use them uh, if I want to. There were only 400 of these jackets made. So if you want to get one, you need to hurry up. Uh, I've got mine. Leo Laporte's got his. Um, uh, I know Scott uh, sent a couple as, as gifts to a couple other uh, uh, really, really important customers. So there aren't very many left. If you hurry, you can still get one, and you can have yours, because once they're gone, they're gone, and you can't get one again. Uh, they may make another leather jacket in the future, uh, but it certainly won't be the 10th anniversary. Uh, and I think this is just a fantastic, fantastic way to commemorate uh, Scotty Vest's uh, first 10 years in business. So that's it. It's the XAE 10th anniversary limited edition leather jacket from Scotty Vest. Hurry up and get yours. I'm out of here. Oh, one more thing. I said you could go anywhere. That includes a Christmas party. I'm out. Merry Christmas.